I tested 500 plus bows and the best bow is, I can't tell you. Imagine somebody asked what is the best knife, I would say a kukri. And then he lets you cut a small onion, you might have a problem. You say a small fruit knife and you want to chop a piece of wood, it's not going to work. So the best bow always depends on what you want on your budget, on your style, on your draw length, on your whatever have you, climate, we did this already, so there is no such thing like the best bow, just saying. But welcome back to another bow review, of course, and today we have the Sun Leader Archery Miracle X9, it says, but it should be the Hermit 10, we will see what we get. They asked me if I want, this is a hunting recurve, takedown. They asked me if I want to see and review it. I said, yeah, of course, why not? So, they sent it to me and I will show it to you. Right. We quickly do an unboxing here. Right. So, look at this Zodala. Had to pay some customs. <laughs> That's okay. So, open, open, open. Oh, look at this. What you get is then in the box, like so. Another wrap around. Nice. I mean, they do really. Ah, this is a hermit, see? Oi, so look at this. Sun Leader Archery, they have style. And it's the Hermit 10, which is a set, an ILF recurve for hunting. Uh, in the description it says 60, 62 or 64 inches, the riser is 19 inches and I think I have the 60 inch version. You can have this bow from 30 to 60 pounds. Now let's see what we can open. Open, open, open. come on. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yep, so, oy, look at this. What you get here, huh? Oh, nice. So, what you get is an arm guard. For people, they shoot more this Olympic style and roll their shoulder in for whatever reason. You can have now here a nice. It's from AF Archery, but doesn't matter. A nice arm guard. But you get the point and you never saw me one wearing, so I don't show it to you. But it's there. It's a nice set. You get the arm guard. You get some string silencers. I don't put these ones on. We get the string, obviously. We get, I will try this one, a glove. So you're good to go with a nice set. You only just need some arrows then. Got it. A nice glove. Again, look from whom it is. But this one, you should ask the size next time. This is a little not going to work, but it's nice, thank you. So always make sure you ask for the size or do some kind of one fits all. This one is a little too small for me, but you get a glove with it. String silencers and a dings pumps, you know. Then you get, holy moly, we're not done yet. You get a Hermit 10 bow manual. You get some Allen keys, which you might need. And you get some, I guess it's for the riser, something to put on. And there's another box. This is a bow stringer. So you get really a lot of stuff. And the riser comes in this nice bag here, which I like. So even if you throw it like this in the car, you don't bump your riser up and it's out of high grade, ooh, ooh, nice, high grade, forgot now the number, aluminium. Wow, Sanlita looks good. Heavy is thousand and a bit grams, has here a nice wood handle, which feels good, which would feel even oh, left hand good. So if you get a left hand version, you can do thumb release. So looking really, really good, matte. Painted, you have your stabilizer stuff here and side stuff and everything. In this nice pouchy. Then you get your limbs again in nice 
leaves here. Let everyone experience the fun of shooting archery. Yes, that's a statement. I like that one. And so we get the 60 inch version. Means the riser is 19 inches and yeah, you can't go wrong, I guess, because there's already the writing like this. So I guess this would be then the upper one. Oh, wait, first we need to remove the rubber stopper, foam stopper. 19, 23, 40, 40 pounds, top, each top, tack. And it even stays in so that it doesn't fall out. That bugs me sometimes of this ILF stuff. So, the next one. Yeah, come on out. So, good boy. Good, look at this. And we are assembled. Very good, nice. So, look at you, huh? Look at this. If you want to go hunting, you know. Mm. Feels good. So it's a 60 inch we said, 40 pounds. And we get a nice string. I think personally, <coughs> what you should check at San Lida is your string material. This is still the normal Tacron, which I think you could change into something a bit more fast flighty. And it's tied there together. Nice. So I would check with the bow builder that you might go for some fast flattering because this Tacron, I don't know. It's nice, you know, for traditional bows, but for a high performing. There's an up and down, huh? This is a little longer. For a high performance bow like this, I would suggest putting some fast flight stuff on it. So of course you use the stringer guys as usual. Don't do it like this. We so and in the limbs I forgot to mention the limbs. What is special about the limbs? Oops. There are four layers of carbon. So this is almost pure carbon here and then it, they have a foam layer inside. So it's four layers carbon and carbon fiber and a high quality foam layer. And you can see it here, the white layer and the rest is carbon. Dang, sweet, huh? Ho, ho, ho. And let's check, because step through method, you know, that's why we don't do step through method with these bows, because you can warp your limbs steady. This is, you don't warp these limbs. Nice, so I need to find a glove which works for me. So 28, easy, 29, 30, 31. So even if you draw a little longer with this bow, you're good to go. Oh, that rhymes. Bust rhymes. Nice, look at this, huh? Mm -mm. Feels, see, and this is with this string. If there would be now a fast flight string, I think it would not have. But it's me. For the rest, there is not much going on, and you don't feel anything in the hand with this one kilo. <laughs> nice. The Hermit X10 switch. Huh? Looking good. Oh, oh. If you like this machine stuff, you know. And if you want to go hunting with something like this. So, I will prepare arrows. I don't know now the arrow weight. I will shoot first arrows. They come usually with a set like this. And then I shoot my own arrows. <laughs> Let's see. And as we like it traditional, I put now these stickers on. I guess they should be on like this. So the big square one goes here on top. So you don't scratch the side of your arrow and your riser. And the small one. We put there, of course, you clean the surface first properly and you know all, everything, you know that. You're also professional, you know this better than me. Look at this, works just nice, sits nice and flush. So now I think 
we are ready to shoot. Hello, welcome back. So first of all, I shoot these arrows. They come usually there from Sun Leader. In their sets, you get these ones, they're 30 inches and 500 spine. I guess they are quite heavy and stiff. No, I, don't have I should take a quiver maybe next time. Huh? So, look at this. So first we shoot a heavy arrow. And of course, once the string sets, you want to make your knocking point. So we know a tree curve bow always knocks a little higher than a long bow. And I got, I think this is still from Fairbow Netherlands, my three finger glove. So look at this. You see everything? I hope so. 28 inches. Ooh, a bit heavy these arrows. And the bow makes a nice sound. So, but I, of course, if you go hunting, you want to put some string silences on it. Yup, now I know what the boy is doing already. <laughs> and center shot after center shot after center shot. Sweet. But of course we shoot now some very lightweight, 260 grain, and they are 1000 spine, 700, I don't know. Let's see what they're doing. Ooh, at the net bow gets loud. So then maybe they're a little too lightweight. I mean, it's still a 40 pound bow. <laughs> it puts fun. Feels like 190 foot per second with the lightweight ones. So, the bow gets loud. The air is a little too lightweight, but I don't care. And maybe this brace head will come down a little. So we are still at seven half, eight inches, which is normal for a bow like this. For the rest, Aero pass, everything works nicely. Hmm? Okay, you convinced me. I got a quiver. <laughs> Richard's nice quiver. And guys, I left for Richard's quiver his email in the description box, and I got already a nasty comment because he wrote him an email and he didn't reply instantly. He had some problems. You know, people can have problems. It's a one-man show, it's not a big business, so just give him two, three days to answer the email and it's fine. No? Okay, now. So, look at this, huh? This is like cheating, oops. And yes, in this regard, I make sure that the cock feather is outside. See, no problem with a bow like this. Hunting, you will be very precise and accurate. So the lightweight ones. I, I hear it, it's a bit, I don't shoot them for the speed test, but for the rest, they are too lightweight. So you need some, a little bit of weight. So 260 grain is definitely a little on the too light side, but it's no problem. You see that? This <laughs> is a really good bow. It's fast, it's pretty. If you like bows like this, I mean, obviously, but it's really, really well made. The handle feels very good. So this is sometimes what I don't like when you hold a bow like this, this edge here can cause a problem on the knuckle, but this one is nice and smooth. So even the weight, Distribution of this bow is so nice. Just lays nice and then you can hold it, you know, in your, your Olympic whatever style. Great bow. And the carbon, huh? you see the carbon, shiny, shiny. So here we are quite a bit over 10 grains, I guess so roughly 12 grain per pound. 140. 139, let's see. 142. Yeah, a little heavy. One hundred thirty-nine. So now let's see the magic with two hundred sixty grain arrows. Too light, wait, yes, I know. Two hundred three. So your mileage may vary, but 196, I guess with the decent arrow weight, 198, you are still at around 180 foot per second. And then this bow is just fine, I would say. No. 
And by the way, you know how much I love the Target from Bogar. And I left it in the rain. It fell because of the storm. I was not here. And it was raining on it for two days. And now the arrows are quite hard to get out. Otherwise, this Target is just awesome. Obviously, regarding arrows, you want to check spine charts. You can find them online. You need to know what your bow's poundage is. You need to know what your draw length is. And then you will find the right arrow weight and the right arrow spine. And then they are too heavy and too stiff. They're a little bit too lightweight and maybe too wobbly. So something in between. But it's precise. Yep. Wee wee wee. Target is falling. The lightweight ones, now you hear the difference. Bang! It's loud with lightweight arrows. Let's just don't shoot the lightweight arrows. Oh, these gloves. Jesus, where you point the arrow goes. It's like cheating with a bow like this. Speaking of 3D, I didn't yet, but hunting, 3D, you know. Let's see, a boar. Ui, too high. I'm too close. Huh? Okay, then the thingy back there. There you go. Where you point? There it goes. Boar again? Okay. Uh, still a little high, but these are the arrows and my bad shooting. <laughs> Fine. Oh, I forgot. When you shoot traditionally, you need to clap yourself on the shoulder. Wait a second, like this. Look. Then you knew you did it right. group like this insane bow this stability here helps you a lot and I think it does and even here so this bow is just a performing bow I like it It's, it's a fun shooter. It feels good. It feels really good. For a bow like this, awesome. And did I mention the price? You can get this set for under 300 US dollars. So, awesome, I would say. And you have everything to start with. I shoot now the Sungur, they are 360 grain, just in between the heavy ones and the lightweight ones before. Oh, they're a little, little flexy. What are they? 400, Ooh. too stiff, I guess, huh? Yeah, that's probably too stiff. But they have just the right speed and the right everything. And of course, with these big knocks, he might not work. So you proper arrows and then you're fine. So for less than 300 euros, you get a really premium bow. So this is substantial, this thing. And you get a set with it, with arm guard, with glove. Just make sure the size and stringer and what have you. So, and it's, it's a nice shooter. It's a really nice one. For the price. I would not complain. Don't know how much shipping is. These gloves. 
this is wow so there you have it all you lovely archers out there the hermit 10 by Sunli, the hermit x10 i guess hermit x10 by Sunli the archery i leave the link to the shop in the description uh, the set is yet not there, but you can see already information about this 19 inch riser and the limbs with these four layers of carbon and foam. Here you have a really nice wood handle. This feels just fine. So this is, and it's well balanced. So this bow feels just good in your hand. It's just a pretty bow. And when you see, Limbs are quite that knocks the tips are quite thin, made for performing, a bit reinforced, just nice. And here you have the Sun Leader logo on it. It's quite a well bow. And what I have to say, there was now almost no need for adjustment. I have no idea how to, you know, what you have to do here, but out of the box, this bow was working directly fine. Most probably you need to get into this ILF stuff and know what you're doing, which I don't, but a nice bow. Under $300, as I said, you get this complete set with glove, with arm guard, stringer, and this bow is nice. I would only, San Lida, think about changing the string into something a bit more Dyneema fast flight and try if it works with your bow, but I think it's carbon and it's why should not. So this is a bit too traditional for a bow like this for me. A bit stiffer string, which doesn't flex that much. And then I guess you get even more performance out of this bow. But what little do I know. Nice center shot bow. It's like cheating with this one. So instantly you shoot nice groups. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Nice bow. So thank you very much, Sandy Archery, for sending this bow to me. Really nice. I really like this one. And I said, $300 for a set. With all the sleeves and all the pouches, you know, it's, you are, you're good to go. Nice. And that's about it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much that you subscribe to my channel, that you like, if you like the video, and that you write something in the comments what you think about this bow. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.